Hey guys, welcome back to another exciting video. No, we are not taking a look at B24s or PB4Ys. We are taking a look at tools to help you create nose art and blueprints so you can build your planes. So let's get started. If you've been around since the beginning of Stormworks, you probably know of Tangent Stormworks Toolbox. And this has been my favorite tool for converting images to paint blocks. So how this works is you pick an image. And in this case, I'll pick the old skull. And if you also wanted to provide another image for which parts of that skull or your image should glow, you could click the glow button and upload a second image. I'm just gonna upload the second, same one. And you could put a size limit, how much to scale or unscaled. You could adjust the images uh, so that it tries to make them look good. And then of course you would hit upload. And then after a few seconds, it generates a file, which is trying to download. It's like 13 megs. Oh, that was a big image. And then you would load this into Stormworks. And I can do that real quick so you can see. So you would copy and paste that downloaded file into the vehicle's directory as shown. Go back into the workbench, hit open, generate a file. And as you can see, ooh, it's slow, it's a big one. And as you can see, it's generated the paint blocks. And because I provided the glow file, if we look at the logic, all of the paint indicators are hooked up to a button. If we go to the electricity, all of the paint indicators are connected to one point, the button as well. So if we wanted to, we go and spawn this. Let's turn off the lights here. Oh, that light's still on. Let's turn off that light too. Where's it at? Boom, okay. And if we go over to the button, and there we go, we have a giant glowing skull. It's kind of ugly because I didn't really make the glow map for this image, but you get the idea. All right, let's go back. So Tangents tool is great. It's probably one of the best converters out there, um, but there is a new tool that Alosha created and you can download it and use it on your desktop. And which is nice about that is you can use it anytime connected to the internet, not connected to the internet. And so if you go over here, this is the page it's on GitHub and it's just called Stormworks Image to Paint Block. And the idea of why you may want to use this, I use them mostly for nose art, but builders like Josh J Gaming use it like this as a blueprint to import into Stormworks and then use it to create your silhouette and make sure all your parts are in the right place. So what's nice about this program is Alosha's added some features and I'll go through those in a minute. But what's really neat, if we come down here to the screenshots, you can see he's imported this bomber and there are parts cut out. Do you see the parts that are cut out right there? And that's because this program has a threshold where you can tell it to get rid of light colors basically. So like all your solid white colors would be cut out and only your dark lines would remain. So you can see here, I don't know if you can really tell. So the black blocks are regular blocks and then the solid part here is where the paint block is being painted onto. If that makes sense. I'll show you what it means in the editor. And uh, yeah, so that is very cool. So what you do is you come to this page, uh, which is linked below, and you can hit latest. Once you hit the latest, it'll go to this page. The latest right now as I'm making this video is 1.5.5, and we just hit the download button. There it is. Okay, like all programs, if you're scared of it, scan it with the virus scanner, etc., etc. This is not new to you guys. You've been on the internet for a long time. All right, once you download it, unzip the file, and you're gonna have a folder in here called backups. You're gonna have the execution file. So what's really nice about this is I have a 4K screen and it's really tiny. But if I go into settings, and it's hard to see right here, but I can go ahead and scale up my window by two or three or whatever. I'm gonna go to three so you guys can see it better. And I hit save. And then I'm just gonna close these windows off and I'm gonna run it again, okay? And now you see, <laughs> I can see the uh, lovely interface. So what's cool about this, of course, is you do have the optimize, which will use the threshold to get rid of blocks. We can just click this, okay? <laughs> so those aren't scaling quite right, but you can see that you can actually click them. See, it's being checked. And we have the glow file if you wanted to do a glow file in the background. We don't wanna do that. But what we wanna do is go ahead and select a mode. So we have custom dimensions where you can select how many blocks this should be generated. So if you want a custom nose art to be generated in four blocks, it will try to convert that image to four blocks inside of Stormworks. Uh, you can do a custom width, you can do a custom height, and again, it will try to scale to that height and then whatever width you have or whatever height you have left, uh, depending on which mode you use, it will scale that as well. 
mine is usually going to be don't resize because I usually scale all of my things, all of my interfaces, all of my nose art to what I know is going to fit on there and then it doesn't do any conversion at all. It just directly is converting my image to the blocks. So I'm going to go ahead and select that silly file. All right, so I'm going to go ahead in here and select some nose art. Okay, this one's kind of cool. Surprise attack. Okay, it says that the image is 65 by 58. So it's going to convert the, that image to those amount of blocks. That's going to be huge. I don't think I want to do that. Let me <laughs> select another one. All right, here's one. Diamond Lil. We'll select Diamond Lil. So it is width 11 blocks by height 8 blocks, okay? And I'm not going to do the glow file, but I am going to do the optimize. And watch what happens when I do that. All right, so once you click Generate XML, it doesn't do any um, pop-ups currently or show any status, but unless it stays grayed out or something happens, it has generated the XML and placed it inside of the Stormworks vehicle directory. Um, there is also backups, so if you want to do this, you can click this, and every time you generate, it will create a backup, which is really nice. I don't know if you have to restart to do this. I'm going to go ahead and restart it really quick run it again so I can show you so don't resize select file diamond leal optimize yes generate XML let's see if there's a file so there we created a backup and if we were to click it again we get another backup so that's in case you accidentally overwrite your file inside of Stormworks you have it right here as well but the XML has already been generated and if we go back to Stormworks we will see it inside of the program. All right, so if you go back into Stormworks, we can click open and we'll see generated and we'll load that up. Now what's cool about this is you're going to see that these blocks here are regular blocks, okay? They're not paint blocks. So if I click that button, you can see that these are the paint blocks. All the ones with the blue borders are paint blocks. And what it's tried to do is eliminate all of these blocks that I'm clicking on right now that are solid so that you only get paint blocks which is really great if you are importing a giant blueprint of the side of a plane or a boat or a ship or whatever and you click that threshold and you can kind of bump up the threshold a little bit more so it gets rid of um, light colors more but you're only going to be importing the parts that you need like the lines and everything and then everything else that's more of a solid color it's going to delete those so that should make your blueprint run a bit faster because you're going to have less paint blocks so a very cool feature and uh, yeah, I, I think it's going to help a lot of you that use blueprints to build planes. Um, and for us nose art guys or artwork guys, it's going to, you know, get rid of these right here. I don't need that. This one it left. But if I bump up that threshold, it's going to try to get rid of more light colors. So anyways, that is the idea of how to use this tool. You can go ahead and use the links below in the description to download it. You can also contact Alosha if you have a feature request or if there's a bug that you need to report, you can do that on GitHub, I believe. Let's see, um, I believe there is a bug report. Yes, you can go over here, new issue, and then type to Alosha that there's some kind of issue that you're having with the program. So that's very good. You can contact Alosha directly right there and Give him just, you know, positive feedback if you wanted to. You can go ahead and download this program below and zip. Don't forget to scan it and run it and generate your nose art and blueprints. So that is it for today. If you haven't done so already, hit the bell so it goes ding dong when I upload a new video. And if you haven't subscribed, please consider doing so. And I will see you next time.